Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble guide video, I'm going to show you a really nice little trick to refresh your entire grid when you purchase a mini. Usually when you purchase a mini, it resets the horizontal and it resets the vertical. However, there's always going to be five minis offered to you on the grid. Sometimes when you have unbought talents, there can be more because there can be some talents and there can be bonus XP symbols there, but it's always going to be five minis. So what can we do to get five minis reset when we know that we reset the horizontal and the vertical. Some people call this the T method, some people call it the cross method. I really prefer cross method because cross is by far the most effective way to do this. So first we need to move some things. Well, moving costs gold, so it's not necessarily something that you want to do if you're free to play and especially when you're early on, you're just going to get so many good things anyway. But later on, when you're really searching for something, this could be useful. Now I have set up everything in the form of a cross. And by the way, I have been looking for this Batrider for many weeks. This has not been appearing so far. This, that's that's the last mini I'm missing. That's the Batrider. Let's buy that from the center of the grid. It's Batrider. Weehee. All right, awesome. Now I finally have a Batrider. And now what happened? It reset the entire grid. So now we got a T shape out of this. I don't want the lone wolf talent. I might buy the uncommon goblin zapper actually for this account. Well, it's a T shape that's already in the middle of the T. Let's buy that. And boom, we're just going to, we're just going to reset the entire grid again. How? And it comes in the shape of T again. And this time I'm going to buy this Necromancer star. Yay, we're going to get an uncommon Necromancer going. Tau. And we reset the entire grid again. So, wonderful. You can just keep buying stuff as long as you buy the thing that resets all of these slots. And you can just get practically free refreshes every time you buy something from the grid. But do note that if you're not getting the exact one that you want here, then you have to keep moving stuff around. And that's actually going to cost you a bunch of gold in the long run. So this is only something that you start doing once you already own a bunch of stuff so that you really need to look for those good things that you want to find from the grid. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.